Hello, AJ. It's Ronald here. Hope you're doing well. You mentioned that you wanted to check the rental potential of 77 Mohawk. So I'm going to take a look at uh, that area for you. So let's see what has been leased and let's see the prices. So this is 77 Mohawk. I was just in Brantford yesterday. I just helped a client buy a property there. 110 Chatham, just closed. Um, and let's take a look. So these are some of the rentals that have been rented out. Uh, let's see the lease date, uh, contract date, lease price. Let's just look at the ones that have been leased out. Okay. So add the sold date here. Here are the most recent uh, sold. I think we have a little too many maybe. I'll just close it up a little bit. Okay, here are 11 leased out. It looks like it's uh, around the $2,000 price range. Let's look at the high price range, what it looks like. This is a three bedroom. Okay, second floor only. Really well renovated. That's the reason why they can get the higher rents. Let's look at some other $2,000 ones. Also quite well renovated three bedroom. This is, these are entire properties. This is just a second floor. Again, this is the entire property for 2000 something. This house is a little bit older, but it does have four bedroom and two full baths. Now let's take a look at the cheaper ones. For 1400, it's just a basement. Looks like this. And this is just the third floor. Well renovated, but small. Only two beds and one bathroom. So let's look at the days on market as well to look at how long it takes to uh, rent them out. So I'm going to add this days on market. One moment. Days on market. So looking at the days on market, it kind of shows you how long you have to wait for a tenant and demand. So since it is Brantford, looks like it takes around one to two months to find a tenant. This one took a really long time, but it might be because the landlord is picky. Well, let's take a look. Oh, it's pretty, pretty good. So sometimes you can't really say, uh, say there's a hundred percent correlation. Sometimes the landlord's busy, but from what it looks like here, um, this property is fine. So it was finally rented out. So I would say, yes, there's rental, um, demand here. You also have a few big, uh, schools in Brantford. So you got this, uh, And there are a bunch of people who work there as well. So you, you, you know, you could potentially rent it out to some, uh, schools. Let's take a look at, uh, Brantford here. Wilfrid Laurier. You got the Conestoga college. McMaster's kind of far away. So people probably won't be living in Brantford. But there are a, a lot of jobs in Brantford as well. Um, so maybe some lower paying jobs uh, like factory workers. Uh, let's take a look here. Brantford is a lot cheaper. So let's look at the economy. Do we have some, uh, big companies 
Procter and Gamble. Let's take a look at some the major employers in Brantford. Johnson and Johnson. So all these workers, you know, sometimes they don't get paid too much. And um, Fuero is in Brantford as well. So you could still get, uh, you know, someone to rent your property. And housing is always in short supply. Not as much in, as in Brantford, but as you can see here, you can still rent out a lot of places. So what I'm going to do is send you all of these rental comparables. I'm going to send these to you on WhatsApp. And I'll send you this in, in an email. Share a link. Enjoy the video, my friend. Take care.